G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. Today's video is brought to you by the color orange. If, as if you didn't notice, everything's orange these days. Man, look, um, you've, you've got FPV cameras or recording cameras, you've got live FPV cameras, and you've even got video goggles. These are the excellent Swell Pro goggles, a version of the um, Sky Zones, I think. Look, orange, and even our safety brochures that we get are orange, and now, DYS, oh, DYS, actually they don't have orange, it's black and red, but anyway, DYS have sent in some mini quad racing motors for review. Now this is an interesting thing because, let's get rid of the other oranges, let's just stick to the, to the DYS motors here for a moment. Now these, I'll read the specs out for you because everyone wants to know what the specs are. The 2300, 2300 KV, and I've got one open here somewhere, where's the open one? Oh no, can't find it. So all about, oh here we go. Let me read, here we go, lovely box, lovely box. Um, I don't unbox, so I'm going to leave that stuff in there, but purple, lovely, anodized purple uh, lock nuts. These are clockwise and counterclockwise motors. I was hoping there'd be some more information in here, but there isn't. So let's just read it off the box. It's Japanese ISC bearing, 0.1 millimeter laminations, N54 magnets, lock shaft with clip. So yeah, well, it's a 2205, I think it is. Just looking at it, looks like a 2205. Come on, have to look at the motor to see that. Um, turn around, turn around, turn around. It doesn't actually say on the motor. What's going on there? So how do I know? Um, well, this is interesting. It doesn't say what it is. It says, just it's a storm, 2300 kV counterclockwise. Huh. Anyway, um, that's beside the point, because this video isn't about reviewing these motors. Well, it is, but it's not. I'm not going to do the review on these motors today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you people now, I can put these motors on a test stand, I can fire them up, we can see how much thrust we get, how much current it draws. But there's so many mini quad motors on the market today, is it really going to tell us anything, anything useful? Now, I can put them on a frame and fly them around, but again, I'm no Mr. Steel, I'm no Sharpu, I'm no final glide so I'm not going to be representative of you know, really pushing the motors to their limits so what I'm thinking is I want you it's you people there see I'm pointing at you I want you to tell me what information you'd like to see in a review of motors what's the what are the things that are most important to you what factors you want to know is it efficiency is it outright torque is it how close they are to specs in terms of the kV rating uh, you, you tell me because I will build a jig and test them accordingly I, I I, I really don't think that just thrust numbers and current draws are enough. I think we have to go further than that. We have to really get into it and give some deep down, like maybe do you want a torque curve plotted? Because that's kind of interesting. There was, uh, was it Joshua Bardwell, I think, interviewed one of the guys responsible for designing these motors or involved in the designing. And he got, I'll link to that video, actually, the Joshua Bardwell video. I'll link to it in the description of this one because I'm always keen to promote other people and Joshua does some really really good videos and you really if you're not subscribing to his channel do it because he does a really good job. Um, what I will, maybe talk isn't a really important issue because the KV rating affects not only the revolutions per minute uh, per volt but also the amount of torque your motor gives and the way the motors are designed will affect the torque curve because it, of course they have uh, supposed to have maximum torque when stalled but the, it's not necessarily a straight line with some of these motors so let's take a look at that maybe let's, let's I'll do a little jig up and with a little microcontroller and we'll just measure the torque curve across the rev range and the load range I'll build a little dyno we'll load them up because it's easy enough to throw a 5.4 prop on or a 5.43 prop on or a a four bladed fight whatever um, and test them out but maybe what we should do instead of just trying different props is see where the optimum load is we can perhaps i can build a little torque converter and load the motor very progressively over a range and then over a range of throttle inputs and we'll get a, a really good map of the motor performance now it's a bit of work but winter's coming up here so i'll have plenty of time inside the studio to tinker around with stuff like that and if that's the stuff you want to know if you want to know which motors are going to 